this is the hive. We're back three days later where I put this hive and where the nuke was and put the nuke where this larger hive was. So three days later, I'm gonna open it up a little bit here. And there's her population. Her population remained in good health. She has plenty of stores. She's not overrun with high beetle. Three or four days later, she's just doing fine. But if I walk over here, this is the nuke that I put in her old spot. And this nuke had a very low population. She was, uh, I think there's four frames in there. And she barely could hang on to the frames. So here in Mississippi, in the Gulf Coast, with all the humidity, that's just not good. Um, I'm in mid-June. And that's just a hive beetle bloom waiting to happen. So I would lose frames, I would lose the bees and everything. So, what happened here? Well, let's open it and see. There it is. Nice population. Oops. There's her four frames. There's the queen cage because I didn't want the new population, which is the old foragers, to come in and kill the queen that I was trying to save. Because the foragers are the older set of workers. And so here we go here. I just have to open it up a little bit. Take her out. She's still alive. That's good. There she is. So I can get a good shot. So she's still alive in there which meant they fed her. She's been taken care of. Obviously the population is looking very nice and that's what I wanted. It's too late in the season to have a low population between the heat and the humidity. The hive beetle would just take over and I'd have a slimed hive, which is a horrendous thing to experience if you've never experienced it. Count yourself one of the lucky ones and let's see here she is in there i'm going to go ahead and just release her when you're releasing a queen like this just a direct release sometimes they'll just crawl out but i've had a few that fly so you kind of want to really just go ahead and get them in there. Let her run down. And she's down in there. No, not yet. There she goes. Come on. Because queens like to go up, this will take a little bit longer. Sometimes they run right down because they know that they're open. She's a little dizzy. There she going down. The worker bees do try to guide her. Like I said, I don't want her flying, especially because I'm one-handed. she's all the way out. She's not quite all the way out. There she is.
no matter when you release a queen, even if you, she's been in there for days and days, a lot, a lot of them will just crawl right out, go down in between. Others, I've had them run up on the cage, right up my arm. There she is coming out. That's what they're all talking to her. That's what's going on when you leave your queen in there so that she gets accepted. Like I said, the old foragers are in there, the ones that are really testy. Come on, let her out. This method of gaining some foragers a little bit more in your workforce is good for whether it's a large hive or a small hive, it really doesn't matter. If you can, you have to swap the small with the large, but the large has to have enough of a population to recoup its energy without their forager force. They just start talking up a little game here. Look at that. Little sillies. So you can see that they wipe off. If they did not like her, their abdomens would be curled up and you probably start to hear her piping. Sometimes they glom onto her so much that they even pipe. Come on, come on out. They pipe either way. So there you go. That's a new technique, old technique. I've seen old films of people swapping skeptics places and uh, doing the same thing so as long as you give them room like this nuke wouldn't have been able to have a, a bigger place there she is in there she's walking around Her scent is doing her thing. She's a beauty. So if you have a small hive, try it. Of course, this only works if you have more than one hive. You need to be able to have one super good hive or really well off hive to be able to take some foragers. And it works much better than trying to shake. You shake, they fly away. They fly right back to where they started. This way you don't have to do that. Very nice technique. So if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, click the bell. Leave me a comment if you've tried this technique before. And you can see me on Instagram or on Facebook. So keep in touch. Happy beekeeping. <laughs>